Now, before I start talking about anything of importance, I gotta explain to you something. The reason I have these blank screens is because they make uploads instant. I'm not joking. All I had to do is pr click that red little pause button, and all of a sudden the video is completely finished. I don't have to wait. That's one of the little beauties behind Minicam. I think it's underrated. People just think it's a cheap, free software to edit your webcam videos. It's got a lot of little perks besides just editing little icons that people don't really know how to use. Alright, well one of the things I have to explain to you is that I'm the most extreme of anarchists. I put no faith in any politicians. In fact, I put so little faith that I don't even get mad if they do stuff that's ridiculous because I have no expectancies towards them like if someone were to like release the nukes I might be scared for my life but I wouldn't be mad at them because I had no expectations for them and that's the truth man So when um one of the things I realized I need to reform is my argument against democracy because what I was really doing was I was making an argument against the republic really a constitutional republic like the United States. Now it's not usual for anti-democracy individuals to say that the United States isn't a democracy because then it make the arguments complicated, but. In real life, a democracy would be minarchist esque. And it'd be easy for it to be minarchist, and there are places like that. I'm sure you've heard of them too. But the problem is that minarchism doesn't have the nutrients that a society needs, it has some missing nutrients. It loses the inconveniences of the state or at least 95% of them and these are numbers searched off the top of my head for purposes of analogious axioms <laughs> so one of the things that one of the, I know one of my subscribers is gonna be pissed about since he's pro Ron Paul and anyone who makes an argument against Ron Paul he made in this video yesterday he said that they need to have a stern talking to and you have to explain to them their ignorance or whatever he said and he, I consider him a friend of mine so if he wants to respond to this come at me bro because he was mad about this magazine for criticizing Ron Paul I think we all know what that video happens to be. I'm gonna. Put, I'm. I don't want to put people on blast, but hey. But I don't think Paul Ron Paul is gonna be the answer to every libertarian's prayers because he's operating under a st structure of the republic. And if you truly desire minarchism, then. That's just going to be something that'll be truly unsuccessful. Because the republic's under the eye of wealth. One of the usual arguments against minarchism, and it's very cliched, is that it's just going to grow bigger and bigger. Small government becomes bigger government. It's not, it's not going to be the axiom I use. The way I see it, it's not about how powerful or huge the state happens to be it's about the structure of the state I mean both are important but really if you want a weakened state that's not gonna get into as much wars or any wars which is what you want and what I want too I I want no wars period I want to get rid of that war mentality that violence 
there's no other word to describe it. But under the structure of this republic, it's not going to work. You can weaken it. You can make it by making it smaller. But you can't, like, um, have that deadliness reduced by just having the states less integrated by the feds. If the feds integrate these states even less, make them separate to a weaker, stronger extent and um, more independent, less consolidated, then fine. But we still have that republic structure, which is really perfect for the corporatist means and there'd still be wars albeit separated wars less unified wars but it's not going to be a successful if you want true minarchism which is something I don't want then you're gonna to have to change the structure of the republic to something more democratic and I love how I have to keep repeating the emphasis I don't support democracy I feel democracy is anarchist and I've formed my arguments see it this way because the way I see it it's just ridiculous Paul wins then will try to slow down the wars weaken them pull out everybody and as the end result odds are that even if he's successful in pulling out those wars the means of corporatism will find a way I mean they'll honestly find a way after he's gone they'll do something behind his back with the structure of the republic that means that there's politicians more than one politician, more than one people connected to those. They'll find ways of going through underground warfare or something of that ridiculous nature. I'm sure of it. This video is a little bit more sloppy, but that means that I'm getting more ideas. I'm getting better as a result for like my past 15 plus, 10 plus videos. I've been way too much in my comfort zone, so. I gotta say something controversial like I did in mid-June or early July. Alright, so that's all I gotta say. Um, I really hope that this video gets some controversy because I'm really itching to get into some drama. So far, let me evaluate everything. The United States isn't a democracy. Democracy is undesirable because it's minarchist in nature, um, and minarchism still has the impossibilities that the state provides, but it loses a lot of the inconveniences. Ron Paul won't be successful even if he gets elected in his goals because the structure of the state still remains even if it becomes smaller or less integrated or less consolidated that structure that it has right now of politicians many different crooked ones and that unnatural national monocentrism will find a way to screw up shit and that's all I gotta say. One last thing. <laughs> I like how I said I got nothing left to say and I add that. I noticed some people have some nice things to say about me. And I appreciate that. Alright, I'm done. Continue on with your days.